Hey, welcome back. We're going to be looking at sticky columns. And this is really simple and it's not going to take long to do. What is a sticky column and why would you use it? On our page at the moment, we have two columns. Okay, one section, two columns. Column one has a text editor with tons of text. It could be a blog post, it could be a page with information, it could be images, gallery, whatever you want. Okay, column two just has the products widget. So we're just showing some fake products up. Okay, could be one product, could be multiple products, it could be anything. So imagine a situation where on the left hand side you've got videos and info about a, a wonderful product. You want people to buy it. And then on the right hand side, you have now the add to cart or the buy now or the subscribe or the whatever you want. The problem is that when you have a lot of text on one side of the page, as they scroll to read, eventually the items that were on the right hand side that you wanted them to click the button to make that impulse buy, it's gone. What? It's gone. What do we do now? You know, they now have to scroll back to the top, but there's a chance they may forget about it. Well, they won't forget, but you've kind of lost that impulse moment, haven't you? Now what you can do is make column two or three or four, whatever column you want, you can make it sticky so that as they scroll up and down, that column stays on the page until they move to the next section. And when they move to the next section, then it will disappear. Now just to make the point, I'm going to just duplicate this um, section so we have a copy of it. So eventually when we do get to the bottom, you will see um, both columns now move up simultaneously. Now what you do to make this work is you have to put an inner section into the column that you want to make sticky. So I'm just going to copy this widget so I don't have to add it in again, hit delete, and I'm going to add in an inner section into column two. So we drop that in there, okay? And I'm going to get rid of column two. So the inner section is just one column. I'm just going to make it a uh, full width and just say there's no gap. So it's completely at the top and everything. Now within the inner section, column one, I'm gonna repaste my widgets that I had there. Now at the moment, the product widget, it looks kind of like how it did before. Text, products. And when we go down to column two, or the next section, we have text, and we'll make it a different color, by the way, so we can see it a little bit better. What did I pick white for? There we go, it's, there's a bit of a gray color there. But as you can see, it is still scrolling. It's not sticking at all. That's because we have not enabled the sticky option yet. Right, so what we now do is we go to the inner section, okay? Not the parent section, the inner section. We go to advanced and we go to motion effects. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to be sticky top. Normally it will be set to none. You're gonna say set to sticky top. Now, if you leave it at that, so you think, oh, it's stuck to the top now. Great, it will be in view. When you eventually scroll, it's gonna overlap the, the, the section two and section three and section four, because it's stuck to the top. And that is why we now have a new option that's appeared. So look, let me put it onto none, and let me put it onto top. You'll see this new option pop up called stay in column. You click that, you activate it. And now, if we just hit update, and we scroll up and down, in fact, let's do it on a preview, let's do it on a full size page so we can see it. As we scroll up and down, or down in this case, the products stay on the right hand side. But watch what happens when we get to the bottom. Look at that, it's moving. Because now it knows that it doesn't, it, it's staying within the column, but now section two is a totally new set of columns. Therefore, it doesn't need to stay there. So if you hit, if you set a responsive, not responsive, a fixed header at the top, stick to top, that's fine. You always want it to stick to the top. You know, you want it to be there. But you could have um, uh, you could have items below, which are sticky in column or whatever. That stay in there until you get to the bottom of the section. Do bear in mind though that if you ever do do that, okay, and you have already got a header that is stuck to the top, this when you hit top could overlap the header as well. So what you need to do is go over here and where it says offset, you might want to offset it by say a hundred. Well, it won't be 100, say 50 or 60. So if your head, ah, oh, 500, 50. So let's say your header is about 50 pixels in height. You might want to offset that by 50. So as it is scrolling up and down, even though you've, you've picked top, it doesn't overlap onto your header. But look, dead, dead simple. All you do is put in an inner section, put the content into there, make sure it's sticky top, make sure it's staying column, and drop them. 
I hope you like, I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you soon.